Welcome to Rigby, Idaho, birthplace of television. The town makes that boast because way back in 1920, a farm boy named Philo T. Farnsworth came up with an idea that led to the first television picture. Even in 1920, the idea of television was not new, but nobody could figure out how to do it. As a student at Rigby High School, Farnsworth studied everything about electronics and radio. The idea of sending pictures through the air was always on his mind. And one day, while plowing a field, the answer came to him in the long, even rows left by the plow. Farnsworth realized that perhaps optical images could be transmitted in a series of electronic lines, creating a visual field. He drew a diagram of his idea for his chemistry teacher. And seven years later, in 1927, that diagram became the blueprint for the first television camera. An image dissector tube, it was called. And the farm boy turned inventor created the first television picture in a laboratory in San Francisco. The first image was of a single line. The rest is history. Philo T. Farnsworth died in 1971. Despite being the man who invented television, Farnsworth hasn't become a household name. In the 30s, his work made the newsreels. In the 1950s, he made his only television appearance. In 1977, his contribution was remembered on the 50th anniversary of his first San Francisco broadcast. Today, his widow and eldest son are working on a book about his life. And the post office is issuing a stamp honoring Farnsworth as a great American inventor. Here in Rigby, folks are hoping the stamp will renew interest in their efforts to build a Philo T. Farnsworth Museum, which would be located not far from that farm field where television was conceived by a farm boy looking at lines in the dirt. In Rigby, Idaho, Gene Hagenson for NBC News.